Hey everybody, Jaxel here. Just starting up uh, another video for day three, and uh, I've done quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of work here. Um, I am going to do a bit of hunting here, even though it is midnight. I want meat, so there we go. Okay, we're gonna. Uh, we're going to hightail it over there, and uh, I should put the hunting knife on my bar, so at least I have it, there we go. I'm going to take a gamble here, uh, nighttime normally is a very uh, risky time for me, uh, but uh, like I said, I'm taking a gamble, so, because I need the, I want the hide. I really want to hide, so I am going to do my best to go get some. Between that, the fat, and the animal fat, and the uh, the skins, because um, I'm finding this area, I'm getting really cold. So I want to get some clothes on. So skin myself a few animals here. I'm gonna hope that I don't run into anything. I didn't see anything when I was running up. But, uh, then again, I really wasn't looking. Um, I, I did spend the day doing a, a, a ton of, uh, of adventuring. Uh, it wasn't stuff worth putting on camera, though, so I didn't record it. Because, well, who wants to watch me break rocks and chop down trees? Uh, I know I don't find those to be very entertaining videos all the time. So, uh... So what I'm doing here is, uh, again, I'll explain for uh, my few friends who uh, who don't know, uh, that what I just picked up is goldenrod. You want to pick up goldenrod. Goldenrod is highly uh, highly advantageous in the game uh, between that and red tea. I didn't even, I forgot that this had gotten broken open. Are you kidding me? Oh, well, we don't need those up then. Um, I, w I was contemplating uh, staying in the, the shed. Uh, I do prefer smaller places to stay. I said screw it though, and uh, I came up on to stay for night two on the uh, on top of the gas station. Uh, what I'm doing here, just so in case anyone doesn't realize, uh, the the climbing zombies, you want to slow them down. So put a couple blocks in, and uh, that'll stop them from getting up to you for a little while anyway. Uh, so what I've done here is, uh, oh good, I've got lots of animal hide. <laughs> Um, I've made myself 25 torches, um, which I'm going to use to light the area downstairs. Um, I say downstairs, but what I'm meaning is uh, light the area around here. I'm not staying here, though. Um, I'll show you kind of... I'm going to go back by the fire and stay warm while I talk here and make sure I'm not being seen. So what my plan is, is... I, uh, I, I went up the road a little ways and I thought, okay, nothing really cool there. And so I jogged into the forest and I found a bunker. <laughs> and I've always wanted to set up in a bunker and this bunker is in the middle of nowhere. So I'm kind of excited. Um, there's tons of trees, uh, but it is a bit cold. So hence me getting some animal skins um, and doing the farming, uh, for, uh, the hunting. So now my goal is going to be, um, I'm going to clear out my, my, uh, my chest here. Um, there's no chest there, but I know there's more at the, um, back at the safe house here, but I'm not going back for it. Um, I, I was going to, and I realized that pretty much everything that I've got there, um, I'll pack up on another trip home. Um, <clears throat> there's no point, uh. Uh, on, on bothering for what's there. It's kind of a pointless adventure there. So, uh, I am going to put up a few torches here. Um, just because I like to have a well-lit area. Um, I am going to leave them up here. Uh, I don't see any point in, uh, in bringing them with. I'm going to get enough charcoal or coal to, uh, to keep me going with torches, I think. 
So I haven't really had an experience an issue with it before. Uh, they've they've got so many um, nodes sitting on top of the ground now for uh, for for coal that uh, it just it doesn't seem uh, to be a an issue anymore. There were times when you used to have to mine. I remember way back when I couldn't find coal to save my life. Uh, <clears throat> now it seems to be. Uh, Quite, uh, quite at. Whoa, uh, my ring just flew across the room. I had to take my rings off; they're cutting circulation off right now. So, anyhow, um, <clears throat> I've also picked a bit of cotton, not a lot. Um, pretty much most of the stuff that I have on me here is gonna get left behind. Um, oh yeah, and thanks to KJ848. Uh, I don't know who told him, but thanks to all of you. Um, the wood farm fence is uh, make those if you're wanting to, uh, to keep a fire going. They have a longer burn time than anything. Um, um, I'm going to put uh, two more in just to keep this going for now. Um, I wish I had a cooking a pot up here, but I do not. It's down in my other uh, in my other little area over here. So uh, I am going to make another adventure down. I'm not too worried about zombies coming and getting me, so um, I should probably be on at least a decent-ish weapon. See, look at this, more coal. I will be mining that out shortly. Uh, it this won't be. Uh, I can't leave coal behind. When I find it like that, it's uh, I end up stopping to take it. It just makes no sense not to. So. Um, take my cooking pot out of here there we go and like I said most of like even this stuff here um, I'm probably just gonna leave it uh, I may bring the tires uh, probably the duct tape uh, there's a lot of stuff here I just gonna scrap uh, the corn I'm gonna bring with me because I want to start a farm same with the potato seeds uh, we'll just put the potato seeds in the corn um, as long as I have uh, as long as I have my cooking pot, uh, I can make stew, and I plan on making a ton of stew. So, um, so I'm gonna turn all this into cloth. Uh, the goldenrod, I'm gonna keep on me. The eggs, I'm gonna keep on me. The animal fat. It's like this blood pack. I don't know that I'm actually going to bother uh, keeping blood packs on me right now. Uh, this and. Um, where's the, thing? I guess I have enough on me anyway, so let's go, I'm going to, just because I don't want to get caught unawares, uh, I'm going to, block this off, so that way I can still shoot them if they, they show up, so, um, that's right, I was going to type in duct tape, there we go, I can make three of them, so let's make those right now. Uh, what else is in this chest that I'm going to uh, going to need here? Um, <coughs> I should have done a lot of this off camera, but uh, I didn't. I decided against it uh, just because. Well, you folks are gonna uh, the people who haven't played it. They're gonna need to see what we do here. Uh, the books do not scrap them. Go to the recipes. Go to paper, uh, and craft them into paper. Um, basically, if you scrap a book, you get three pieces of paper. If you use the recipe, you get twenty per. So you know, do the math. Do you, and when they're considered, and those are shotgun shells. If you want shotgun shells, you're not going to waste them. Uh, I I love the shotgun in this game. I use it all the time when I have one. Um, so I am going to leave a few arrows behind. I'm not going to leave... I'll leave some feathers as well. I'm going to take the feathers, the others, the full stack with me. Um, the 9mm rounds are going to come with me. Uh, the gas... The 5 gas can stay. The 1000 can stay even. Um, I think I'm going to leave the tires here for now. Uh, group all this stuff together because when I get a mini bike if I uh, find I only have crappy tires, well, then I'll come back for a better set. 
the scraps to lead and I do want to bring the animal fat with me um, darn it all um, that little bit of leather is going to be handy too. I may have to make two trips here, I think. Just in judging from what I have here. Because there's certain things I have that I do not feel like uh, leaving behind. So it may end up being that I end up bringing all this crap with me. So, Because as of right now, I'm full, right? So, so let's scrap the pistol barrel. If I had a forge, I would put it in the forge instead. Because you get more for it. Uh, but again, I don't. The nails, I don't need bullet casings I'm gonna need to bring so let's put this uh, the bone shiv I don't need I can make another one I have more bone um, the bone is really 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 handy you do not want to get rid of bone um, I, I didn't know this until I started looking in the uh, looking in the menu and realizing holy crap uh, bone is very handy it makes glue which makes you duct tape which duct tape is used in everything in this game so uh, I do have a headlight which those are multi-purpose now as well the gardening hoe I'm gonna want to bring with me when I come back um, I'm just kinda grouping together everything that I'm going to be coming back for I'm gonna try and pare it down into um, oh, I want the moldy bread but I kinda don't so it's hard to say here um, everything that's in here uh, <coughs> has to has to come with eventually so um, let's make cloth out of that we can get two more uh, even though I don't honestly think the cloth is going to be a problem later uh, from where I'm uh, get rid of that one. Let's scrap those down. Uh, again, they'd be better to go on the forge that I don't have, so same with the iron fragments. I'm going to scrap them as well. And the candy tin. Even though the candy tin can be made into a landmine, yes, I know. Um, I'm going to probably kick myself for scrapping it, but and the iron arrowheads, I really don't need. Uh, the wooden ladder, um, I don't really need it, so there we go. I know I'm pared down enough that uh, actually uh, pretty much when I come back, and I am coming back, I just have a bit of work to do. Um, <coughs> everything that's in here, uh, is going to fit in my bag when I get to where I'm going and I am taking over the bunker um, it will be my home away from home so <coughs> there we go uh, I've cleared this out I am going to leave that in there and where are my torches that can replace the hunting knife for now and we're gonna slam torch right on the front because again I want to be able to uh, to be able to see when I'm out here so put one on there and one on there just in case I end up uh, <coughs> in a situation where I'm having to fight shit while I'm down here um, yeah I can actually kind of see and um, gonna put one on there uh, I watched Cage or uh, actually uh, game for kicks he uh, he put a bunch of candles down it was quite an interesting way to light things I thought that was quite cool um, I guess it uh, you know it, it worked quite well it seemed to give him a lot of light for uh, the epic battle that he underwent uh, it was quite the video to watch. You should check his channel out. He's got a lot of good stuff on there. Both him and, and Cage848 have lots of uh, really good content um, on their channels. Uh, they were the ones that uh, I first started watching when I was first starting to play this game. So um, they definitely know what they're doing. Um, and what they don't know, uh, they have a lot of people that uh, help them out and let them know 
uh, give them hints and, and whatnot. So this I'm going to quickly break apart. I, I really want it. So actually while I'm waiting, um, damn it. Uh, what do I have? I probably should drink anyway. So let's do that. And then as far as clothing goes, I'm going to make myself an ammo hide jacket. Because I have the hide. And I'm going to make myself some animal hide pants. And boots. Because I'm tired of getting cold here. So. There we are. Let's wear that. And I should probably... Uh, I'm quickly take a look at my stats here. Uh, temperature should be it's still going down, and it's because I have no pants on. So let's get the pants on, and then that should warm me up. So and these can get uh, scrapped, and then the boots will do the same thing with the boots because I can make more of those. And scrap. Well, let's see, is my temperature climbing back up again? No, it's still dropping. Alright. There we go. Break down some coal here. Coal is going to be really huge. So, I'm going to be needing a lot of it. It, uh, it helps run your kilns or your forge. Um, works in the campfire in a pinch. And, uh, well, you need it for gunpowder. Number one, if you want gunpowder, you're going to look for coal. So, that's what I'm doing right now. Because I know what my new base is. Um, it is going to be, I don't know if it's going to be my full-on base. Um, for right now, it's, uh, it looks like a good place to go. So, um, like I said, it's in the forest. Lots of trees. Now, we need another stone axe. I had to make sure it broke before I uh, continue. Oh, I picked that flipping ladder back up. Okay. There we are. Let's get this going here. So yeah, this is more of an update video, and I'm being hunted. So let's uh, let's get out of the tall grass so I can see what's going on here. Uh, we're almost at the morning. Uh, so, well, this is pretty eerie, eh? It's not morning yet, but we've looks very bright. So. I don't think I need to head back up on the roof actually at this point. Let's take a look at our temperature one more time. Yeah, see my temperature is totally climbing back up. So that's perfect. And I actually forgot. Oh, that's right. It's a bug thing. Um, I didn't I, I didn't remember that until now. Um, with the mining helmet, uh, you'll have to, uh, if you want to be able to use the flashlight, you have to, when you log back in, you have to turn the uh, the camera, or you got to take it off and put it back on in order to get the light to work. That zombie is uh, digging around there. I don't mind that. He can play around there all he wants. Um, I did just build a new stone axe, so um my decision is going to probably be to cut this video off I also did this video to, I wanted to test to see how long uh, <coughs> how long a video um, would be at night I wasn't sure so um, pretty much from midnight to uh, 4 a.m. is a 24 minute video so that's fine uh, at least I know how long my when I'm doing a horde night how long my video is going to be. It's probably going to be a 30 minute video because I'll start it at just before 10 and 
and you have to be careful on those nights too. You don't want to log out um, before the horde, or you will lose your horde. So um, I don't know. I don't. I don't really want to lose my horde. That's the fun part of the game. So, um, and like I've I've put in my uh, I put in my comments as well. Um, the uh, uh, the reason for me going to 120 minutes is I want to be able to build a damn base. Um, I find there's not enough time in the day. Um, I'm feeling very rushed all the time, and uh, and just when I get something built, it it you know it's getting destroyed, and that's fine. It's going to happen. I get that, but. Um, I do want to be able to uh, have a have a decent base here, so uh, it's not going to be a big base by any means. The first one is going to be me taking over that bunker, uh, and I miss. Come here, sweetheart. How's your eye feeling? And she's got nothing, which is fine. Um. Okay. Oh, and that is a fight that I don't want right now. I've I have taken a bear down early on in the game. Uh, it's a fun fight, but it's also a very dangerous one. And uh, you know what? I actually, I think I'm still gonna take it. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna still take him, take him down. I'm gonna do it the the way I've done it before. There we go. Oh, no, 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 come on. We want to keep him in line of sight so we can make sure he's not going to cause us any trouble here. And <clears throat> that should work. Now I'm going to use the cheat out sneak attack thing because it will do double damage. So, And now here comes the bear. Oh, that wasn't so bad at all. Well, we just we just took ourselves down a bear. So, of course, I'm looking at my uh, knife, thinking it's not going to make it through. Which, even if it doesn't, I'll use the axe. It'll be fine. But damn it! I should have looked at that. I should have made a bone shiv. There we go. Okay, axe it is. This takes longer, and I don't think you get as much for the bear. That's fine. I'll take what I can get here. So I got my first bear now. Took down a couple deer, a couple of pegs that you guys saw at the beginning of the video, and now a bear. Alrighty. There we go. So definitely making uh, a bone shiv again. Seems how my knife is toast. So, alrighty. On that note, folks, I'm going to say uh, have a good one. Please like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment. If, I, if you don't like my videos and you give me a thumbs down, please let me know what it was. It's the only way I can make my videos better. All right. Happy hunting, everyone. Jack's out.